Use international contract law. Force majeure. A force majeure is a fancy word means superior power. A French pronunciation is more like force majeure. An equivalent Latin word is vis major. It is an event beyond the control of a party, hindering a performance of a contract. English legal system, the English common law system, does not automatically apply the force majeure principles into the contract. So one should stipulate details in the contract. This is example. A party should not be liable for any failure or delay in the performance of this agreement for the period that such failure or delay is due to causes beyond its reasonable control, including but are not limited to acts of gas, war, strikes, labor disputes, embargoes, government orders, or any other force majority band. This is an example only and the actual cases might be varied. But you have to think of the following. A party being hindered by a force majeure should make a notification to the other party to minimize the loss. And then a party being hindered should seek a reasonable solution to minimize the counterparty's loss. And then, if the event lasts for a period, they should think about the further termination of a contract. In French legal system, one might argue the force majeure as a defense. But uh, the force majeure cases should have number one, externality, and number two, Impredictability and number three, irresistibility. In German, though, there is a similar concept of fair gebaut. So, fair gebaut is like a force majeure, and if there is a fair gebaut, one might uh, one's liability to perform the contract will exceptionally cease. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any interest in international contract law, please click like button, subscribe button, and bell buttons. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.